제 260회 어떻게 관리하면 좋을까요? <laughs> 안녕하세요. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host, Lisa Kelly, and today we still have not left the salon. There's so much to do there. So we're going to cover a little bit more. And these days, you know, even men do things to their hair, color it and dye it, uh, which we call permit, and they put stuff into it. If you look at Korean actors and actresses, it's the women who have the long, straight, like, natural hair, and it's the men who've got it cut, permed, and bleached, And they just do all sorts of things to it, right? Yeah, they do a lot of the flyaway yeah, stuff. Yeah, called know, the like, paramori. Paramori, yeah. They mm. got the, the whoosh, very natural looking that takes like two hours to yeah. get. Yeah. I just do this. <laughs> I'm, also, I'm Stephen Revere. Thank you all for being with us once again for another episode of Let's Speak Korean and being with our two students. Hey, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, 마루. 여러분, 안녕하세요. 정말 많아서 반갑고요. 제 이름은 마리나예요. 지금 우리를 보니까 기분이 어때요? 좋지요? <웃음> 네, 안녕하십니까 여러분이 저는 마루라고 합니다. 네, 만나서 반갑습니다. 그러면 공부를 시작합시다. 네, and when you want to address everyone, you say 여러. Are they the students or the teachers? I don't know. They should be teaching this day. They're pretty good, aren't they? <웃음> All right, let's go into that beauty salon and see what we're studying today. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. Okay, when you go to the salon, you know, I hate when they say this, even if my hair is healthy, they say, Oh, 머리 끝이 좀 상하셨네요. Mm. My hair is not. It's in very good condition. <laughs> it's in bad condition. Okay, it's dried. You've got split ends. That's what they're talking about. You guys, you girls know what I'm talking about, right? Split ends. Yeah. That's what they call that stuff in English. I was yeah. trying to think of it. Yeah, yeah. 머리 끝이. Okay, pay attention to the pronunciation of this. It's not 머리 끝이. No, 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 no. Just like 같이, right? This one is 머리 Chi. Yes, it's a chi sound on the end of it, okay? You want to do the chi sound. And then we have 좀 상하셨네요. And 상하다 is, well, let's see, 음식 상하면, what happens? It goes bad. Yeah, when yeah. food goes bad, we say 음식, 음식이 상했어요. But here, in this case, if your hair 상하다, then what happens? It gets split and... Yeah, it's dry and damaged. So they're saying, your hair is pretty damaged at the ends. It is not. <laughs> condition. All right, let's they're repeat. They're upsell. They're trying to repeat sell a little treatment. Repeat this. Okay, 머리 끝이 좀 상하셨네요. 머리 끝이 좀 상하셨네요. 머리 끝이 좀 상하셨네요. 네, 상하셨네요. 어떻게 관리하면 좋을까요? 관리하다 is to take care of it. Maintenance, right? So how shall I take care of it? How can I keep it in good condition? 관리하다 is to take care of something in this instance, okay? So 어떻게 관리하면? Now, we would never say if, how, what can I do if to take care of my hair? Right. But this is what, what they're saying here. What can I do to take care of my hair that will make it, that will be good for it, right? So it's uh, tough to do a direct translation here. 어떻게 관리하면 좋을까요? And again, we thought, should I for this one? How should I take care of my hair? Right. Let's try saying this because we don't just say this for our hair. We say it for our skin, our clothes. When you buy new clothes, how can I keep it, you know, looking good? Or how can I keep the leather of my shoes or my purse looking good? Try saying that. 어떻게 관리하면 좋을까요? 어떻게 관리하면 좋을까요? 어떻게 관리하면 좋을까요? 네, very nice. 머리를 감은 다음에 after you wash it, okay, and we learned 감다 before, yeah. uh, 영양제를 바르세요. 영양제 is like something to keep it healthy. In other words, a treatment, like a spray-on yeah. treatment that us girls like to put in our hair, right? Or like the sunblock. Yes. Come, we learned kamta before, right? To wash your hair. So after you wash your hair, kamun daume. Okay, here's a, a little bit, a little bit of a tough expression. You're adding that un to show that it's past tense. Okay, after you do it, kamun daume, and then what are you going to do? 
Yongyang, now this is interesting to me because Yongyang, of course, is nutrition. Yes. Right? Yongyang. So you've got Yongyang, I always say, Yongyang ka, ka manayo. Yongyang ka is nutritionist, value. nutritional value, man, yeah, nutritional things, right? So if it's got a lot of nutritional value, you say, oh, Yongyang ka manayo. Or if it doesn't have any, you say, Yongyang ka ga opsoyo, right. okay? In this case, Yongyang J, and you'll see J added on to the end of a lot of things mm -hmm. to say it means kind of stuffs. Right, mm -hmm. and I want you to stay in good health. I don't want you to catch a cold. So here, take a vitamin. Yong yang je mo Ah, it means a vitamin okay. now, yeah. right? Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. There's a yong yang is vitamin too. Yeah. Isn't that useful? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's just finish up really quickly. Ah, yong yang je Oh, something like a leave-in treatment, right, for our hair. I guess me that. Got it. All right, let's go and take a look at today's Korean Insight. Korean Insight. And ladies and gentlemen, our insight for today is a study tip. And you know, it's we've been doing this show for a little while, but I, I don't think I've told you how I started studying Korean. Really? Did I, did I ever mention that? No, you haven't. When I first got to Korea, I was teaching at an institute. I was teaching English, and of course, the first thing I did was I talked to one of the other teachers, who was also an English teacher, but her English was not perfect. She was a good English teacher, and I did an exchange, and that's what I would like to recommend. You exchange money with her? No. no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have said language exchange. This is, it's always about money with Lisa. I don't know. I, don't know. I did a language exchange with her. Yeah, and every week we would meet at least twice a week, sometimes three times a week. We'd get together and I'd do 45 minutes and she, she would teach 45 minutes. We'd teach each other and we'd sit around practicing. It was a great way to practice the language. And I hope that all those of you out there who are interested in Korean as well, Go look around. Like I said, you can go to www.arirangtv.com and look for exchange partners. Right. There's all kinds of places you can There's look for Koreans in your neighborhood. There's Koreans who want to learn English. So mm. you just do a one-on-one -on -one kind mm. of thing where, you know, if you start studying, you're going to need to know what it means in English or Korean, and they'll be able to help you. What a wonderful and, idea. And even if you're in Ukraine or someplace mm. like that, right, you go to the Korean restaurant that's around, or Lithuania. Do you have a Korean restaurant in Lithuania? Yeah, we've got one. I'm Sure they do, right? You go there, you Talk ask to the lady. Them, tell some Korean, hey, is anybody studying the Russian? I can teach them Russian and they can teach me Korean. So whatever country you're watching this in, you can do it too. Okay, great idea. And let's ask Stephen to talk just a little bit more. Tell us what we learned today. I'd be happy to. I'd love to talk. Anyway, <laughs> we got Mori Gucci, the ends of your hair was was one thing we had. Then we had Sangha Shonel. What Sangha Da was to go bad for food, in this case, the, you get split ends, right? You're having problems with your hair. And then we had, what can I, if I want to take care of it, right, what should I do? What would be a good idea? And then we had, uh, after washing it, Yang Yang Jie. Okay, Yang Yang Jie was what? It was a treatment, a hair treatment, right? Mm. Good to okay. Good to Good to I get you to say that. All right. Thank you very much, Stephen. Let's take a look. Stephen, Stephen Palme. After we listen to him, flash animation, Bus Hail. Mori, 끝이 좀 상하셨네요. 어떻게 관리하면 좋을까요? 머리를 감은 다음에 영양제를 바르세요. 아, 영양제요? 알겠습니다. <웃음> Lisa, I know you're a flower lover, so here's and a little like flower for you. Yes, there you so go. pretty. Yeah. 어떻게 관리하면 좋을까요? How should I take care of this, okay? Well, what would be a good way to take yeah. care of it? Oh, very good Keep example. Give them lots of water? They're, they're fake. You're okay. They're fake. <laughs> You're okay, don't worry. Mm. Thank you very much. Just say goodbye. We're out of here. Okay. Bye bye, everyone. Have a good one. Bye bye. bye. bye.